The prestigious building behind me is the Speed Art Museum located in Louisville, Kentucky. The Speed is one of the nation's leading regional museums with over 12,000 works in its collection. If I were a student of contemporary art, I would probably want to visit some place like the Speed. I would also want to visit places like the Louvre in Paris, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, the Guggenheim in Spain, and the Hermitage in St. Petersburg. Of course, it's great to travel the world, researching and learning along the way, but it's time-consuming and costly. Most likely, you would come here, the library. It's as close as your computer, and better yet, it's free. Part of a researcher's job is to know as much about his or her topic as possible and share that knowledge with readers through a review of literature. Despite its name, a review of literature isn't the same as a book review. Take, for instance, my review of the X's minor bestseller. Fake Plants in the Fishbowl reveals a troubling psychosis prevalent in the new generation of confessional authors. A book review allows you to provide personal commentary regarding the work. Whereas a review of literature presents an overview of the major research already completed on a given topic. The review gives both the writer and the reader a better understanding of the scope of existing research. A well done review also helps ensure that you don't duplicate work done previously. The process of how to do a literature review is too lengthy to cover in this video, so instead we will focus on what the finished product looks like. Most reviews are structured in one of two ways. The first is where the writer focuses only on work that impacts his or her research. And the second way is when the writer provides the range of work on a given topic. When a writer's review focuses on research that impacts his or her own work, it is important to remember that there's no need to describe everything written about the subject. For example, a biologist writing about a new procedure for the treatment of sickle cell anemia would only discuss previous medical research that made his or her breakthrough possible, not everything written on sickle cell anemia. For this class, your review of literature will focus on the second method, where you examine the range of research done on your theory or concept. In this type of review, you might not discuss the findings and conclusions of the work cited, but would simply acknowledge the work's existence and subject matter. Often, writers will clump together a series of articles into one sentence to show the extent of research on one aspect of a subject. For instance, in this passage, the writer makes it clear that Emma Goldman is a person of interest for scholars of feminist criticism. To help you stay organized once you've compiled your research, divide the information into groups, with each group representing one subtopic of the larger topic. By doing a good review of literature, you learn more about your topic and your writing skills improve. It may not be as much fun as traveling the world in search of knowledge, but at least you don't have to get your pilot's license.